when I hold hands with my future boyfriend or husband, I want him to think, wow, your hands are so supple and soft. But right now, we're really far from there. So let me show you guys my fingers right now. They look absolutely horrid and kind of scary. The skin on my fingers is just peeling like crazy. This hand is much worse than this hand. I will not tolerate my fingers looking like this and feeling like this. It actually almost hurts and this is the first time anything like this has ever happened to me in my life. I also think that because of the pandemic, we've been washing our hands a lot more. So what I'll be using is Vaseline, Aquaphor, O'Keefe's Working Hands Night Treatment, and hand masks that I forgot to bring. Throughout the week, I'll show you my progress, show you how things are going. We'll see where my hands look after a week. Hi hey guys, so I wanted to give you an update. I've used the hand mask two nights in a row now and I'm definitely seeing a difference. There's still some like flaky skin, but for the most part, it's all like hydrated and like looking good for the most part. Like looking a lot better, not as like gross as the first time I showed you guys. I've also been religiously lathering the O'Keefe's Working Hands Night Treatment. I tried the Vaseline and the Aquaphor, but I feel like my hands end up more dry after that, after using those. So I'm sticking with the O'Keefe's and then the hand masks for now. This is the hand mask that I was talking about. It's the FEL K Beauty Intensive Repairing Gloves. So these are what the hand masks look like. They come in gloves. So you can just put them on like this and they're like full of lotion. So you like you're putting your hands into like a wet glove. I got these masks on Amazon. This was like the cheapest one I could find. Hand masks are like surprisingly expensive, but like, yeah, these are like $1.50 to $2 each. Okay, I just want to update you guys that my fingers have super regressed. I put lotion on them a couple minutes ago, so they don't look that bad right now, but if you can see, it's like red. It's still peeling. It's The skin is like harder than it was before. Also going to start using olive oil and coconut oil on my hands, and I'll keep you guys updated. Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick check-in and say that it has been like it has been like four or five months since I started this video and my hands are finally almost almost healed. Not even healed yet. They're like almost healed. This is my left hand. It's like completely almost completely healed. There's like a little bit of like dry skin up here. And then on this hand you can see that they're all most of my fingers are healed except for the second finger and the third finger. There's like a little bit of dryness. I used so many hand lotions and I also started using gloves every time my hand touched, had to touch water, also including when I took a shower. But yeah, I used so many hand lotions, can't, can't wait to tell you guys which one is the one to use. But yeah, update. Hi guys, so it has been four months since I first started this video. This has been way longer than I thought it was gonna be. I honestly thought it was gonna be like a couple weeks or like a month kind of thing, but it took four months for my skin to completely heal. So if you guys can see, my skin has totally healed and I am... I am so excited about that. So today I'm gonna to tell you guys exactly what I used to heal my skin. It was such a long journey and I used so many different things. So I guess to start off, um, I'm gonna talk about the ones that I mentioned earlier in the video. One of them was Aquaphor and then the other one was Vaseline. So Aquaphor and Vaseline actually didn't help. It actually made my skin more dry because it made the parts that were already flaking dry even more. I feel like all doctors and medical professionals are like Aquaphor and Vaseline are like the way to go. Yeah, it was not the way to go for me, so there's that. The second one that I mentioned was O'Keefe's hand cream, and this one is the Working Hands Night Treatment. I actually really like this one. This one and another one that I'm going to mention were kind of like my top favorites that helped the most. Another thing that I used were hand masks. I don't have any more right now, but I bought some hand masks on Amazon. Um, the hand masks were really moisturizing, and I thought they were really helpful, but hand masks are like so expensive. Like one hand mask is like two dollars each which is like almost the same as like a face mask and i mean i guess there's more like surface area in your hands than on your face but like 
still. <laughs> I also went to a Target and I just picked up some hand creams to just put in my backpack for whenever I was out. Um, just because the Aquaphor just really, the Aquaphor and Vaseline really just made it worse, honestly. And then I finished this, by the way, it's like done. There's like nothing left in here. And so I wanted to pick up a few more. Um, so I picked some up on at Target. I got these two. This one is a goat's milk hand cream. And then this one is a... Uh, blueberry and thyme one and man I have so many opinions so like these two weren't that expensive I think they're like five or six dollars each and they smell great but they don't do anything so I think if you have peely hand skin you're gonna need something that's like really strong and like focused toward moisturizing your hands and I feel like these do moisturize your hands because I use them now now that my fingers are like healed and I do feel like my hands are moisturized, but when my fingers were like peely and stuff, it did nothing. It literally did nothing. So like stay away from these like scented stuffs if you're trying to like fix your peely fingers. But other than them smelling nice, I would say you should, uh, yeah, get something else. <laughs> so next on the list is another hand cream that I use, and this one is also by O'Keefe's. This one is the O'Keefe's Working Hands hand cream this one is like a balm i also finished it there's nothing left in here um and this one was also nice the o'keefe's are both all pretty good the only thing about o'keefe's is that they're not scented and yeah i feel like they're generally marketed for men just because when they're not scented also like look at the packaging it's like not very cute yeah this one definitely helps um just as much as this one did uh, i definitely do like o'keefe's i think o'keefe's is pretty great before you go to sleep lather some up on your hands and i think um it it definitely helps and so i went through so much trial and tribulation with my fingers just because after weeks and weeks of like using all these products nothing was helping it Nothing was helping. So just to let you guys know, there was a period of time when I was like, no soap unless I had to. So I wore gloves when I went out. I wore gloves when I had to do anything that had to do with touching water. So like doing the dishes. I also wore gloves into the shower just because all soaps just dried out my fingertips even more. So aside from using gloves and avoiding washing my hands, another thing that I did was uh, I used this. And this is a Shiseido eye cream. Filled this little bottle up with olive oil and I dipped my fingers into it and that did not work. So if anyone is gonna try the, to do like a coconut oil or olive oil kind of thing, I tried both of those and it does, it does not work. It's like, yeah, I don't know why it, it didn't work. So now I wanna tell you guys the one thing that fixed my fingers. This is the one thing that fixed my fingers and then I'll tell you guys which lotions were the best supplementary. So because this took so long, I actually went to see my primary care physician, so my family doctor. And I went in for um, my physical and then I asked some questions about my general health. And one of the things that I asked was, what the actual heck is happening with my... <laughs> And my doctor was like, whoa, like that looks really bad. Like, how did that happen, etc., etc. And he's asking me all these questions. So the tips and advice that he gave me were, again, avoid washing hands with too much soap or avoid hands touching water. Um, as well as moisturizing and he obviously recommended aquaphor and vaseline and i was like i tried that it doesn't work and so he was like okay this looks pretty bad i'm going to prescribe you something so he actually prescribed me with this sorry i'm covering this half of the box because it has like my personal information on it but he prescribed me with fluocinonide fluocinonide is actually a topical corticosteroid corticosteroid i don't know how to say it and it's supposed to do things like reduce swelling itching redness my friend actually uses fluocinonide for eczema and so yeah this is what the bottle looks like it looks like this fluocinonide cream with 0.05 USP. I have no idea what that means. So the way that I use this was I put it on my fingertips two to three times a day. And the way you're supposed to use it is just, you should put it on your affected area, wherever it is, and then you wash your hands afterward because this is like pretty strong, I guess. And you don't want to touch your face or rub your eyes. But since my affected area was my fingers, I couldn't wash it off. And so I put it on my hands and then I just worked. And it definitely took a little bit of time for it to work just because once I put it on my hands, as I after I put it on, I'll try to give it a couple minutes to like soak into my fingers, but then I have to use my 
fingers to like type and message and write emails and so like a lot of the product would like come off um, so for that reason it took me a little bit longer but my PCP said just to use this two to three times a day for two weeks only and after two weeks to stop it got better like there was less redness but my fingers were still peeling but not peeling quite to the extent as it was um, originally and then afterward I actually made an appointment to see a dermatologist but I went to see a dermatologist and while I was there I was like oh by the way I have this like finger issue finger peeling issue and but I saw my PCP for it and he prescribed me with fluosinonide and she was like well if he already prescribed you fluosinonide then that should be helping it heal by itself and if you already stopped using it then just stop using it and try to be cognizant of washing your hands and moisturizing whenever you can and so I said okay and so with the dermatologist approval I just stopped using it completely after those two weeks and the only thing I really did was moisturize and also just wear gloves still when I was washing the dishes and taking showers and after a couple more weeks it started to really drastically heal and after another one to two weeks I am back thank god <laughs> so obviously I wanted to mention my favorite hand cream which I have not mentioned yet um, obviously beside the fluosinonide which was the most helpful thing that I used the other hand cream that was really really helpful was this one and this one is the Vaseline Intensive Care Healthy Hands Stronger Nails so it looks like this I actually bought a pack of three on Amazon but yeah I finished one completely this one is almost done these were my favorite 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 ones one it smells it actually does smell good and the second one is that it moisturizes your hands without drying them out like a lot of the other ones did so yeah this one was my number one favorite it was the best bang for its buck because it comes with so much product it's not a cute packaging but it comes with so much product and it was pretty affordable and it smells good and it works so this one was my favorite one if you guys have peely dry fingers I recommend this one and you guys aren't going to go see your PCP I recommend this one this one is like the best so I would recommend this first and then I would recommend the O'Keeffe's ones second and then I would actually go with these nice smelling ones next and then I would put Aquaphor and the olive oil at the end which is like really crazy I know like it truly did not help flaky skin I think if you have like scabs or like just something else maybe this will help but it did not help my flaky peely skin um, and then probably in between the O'Keeffe's and the scented ones I would say is where the hand masks lie but obviously if you guys can go see your PCP see what they recommend you if they prescribe you anything if you can see your PCP that would be like the number one so I put that like right here anyways that was this video this took forever to film at one point I was like am I ever gonna film the end of this video because I feel like my fingertips are just never gonna heal but here they are guys I'm just gonna show you again because wow they look like regular people fingertips I truly hope that you guys do not have peely fingertips or just peely skin anywhere if you do feel free to try out these products again if it's really bad and it doesn't heal within a couple days to a week you should go see a doctor if you guys have any questions about anything feel free to leave a comment down below hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye